Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to or welcome back to Kovacs Corner. Appreciate you taking the time to come through. Check out the video. Today, we are reacted to another Grubby video, man. Grubby kills it, bro. Uh, Night Elf over explained Warcraft 3. So he's going to be explaining, well, over explaining Night Elves as he's playing against a competitor. Uh, I haven't seen the whole video. I literally watched maybe the first six seconds, <laughs> just to be honest with everybody. But yeah, feel free to hit me up on any one of my other social media platforms down in the description. Uh, if you enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, we're pretty much going to get into it. Oh, also, we did make a YouTube partner program, so feel free. If not, it's all good. doesn't matter to me. Let's watch. Let's kind of explain everything we're doing here, right? So, if, and even at the point of perhaps over. So usually, it's Alter Moonwell, and then you end up having the Ancient of War over to one side by a creep because it ends up tanking the creep, and it all depends. Usually, it'll be anywhere between two to three archers that you're gonna end up getting from it before you end up using it for a tank when your hero pops. We're explaining things a bit too much to people that already know the game. First Wisp goes into Altair to get the fastest possible hero. And then we're going to go for a Demon Hunter, which is one of the best starting heroes for Elf. And as you can see, he's taking one of the Wisps and he's sending it out here into the map just so that he's able to figure out what's going on. He's pretty much scouting. The moment we have 40 Lumber after the Ancient of War, we're going to make a Moonwell. Usually it's Archer first, then Moonwell. Wisps bring in five, so I'm gonna shift right click this Wisp away. When he brings five, I'll have enough for Moonwell. I'm gonna make that. Archer is gonna pull the turtles to the right. Archer has lower attack priority than Ancient of War. So they switch to Ancient of War the moment Uproot finishes. Well, that's pretty cool. I had no idea about that. And obviously, he gets another Night Elf that you could pop one, and then as you uproot your Ancient of War, it, they end up pivoting over to the Ancient of War to attack. That's pretty crazy because it ends up turning into a unit, I believe. The next Wisp now will make a uh, Ancient of Wonders. So that. And as you see, he went with the Ancient of War to grab a tree, it eats a tree, and it regenerates health. I can go over 20 pop, we break Our the rules. Have engaged the enemy. We're gonna attack at 21 population, mana burn this time, no immolation. And I'm gonna get a circlet from the goblin shop. Your building is creeping. And a dust. So now he's the one creeping. So essentially, it's a mirror match. I'll hit him with the burn. Uh, more items than him. I have four bon uh, three bonus stats. Circuit and ring. And he only has mantle. So I have... So as you can see, he has the crown... He has a ring that does plus one, plus two, so overall it's plus three for the attack, which is pretty pretty big, man. Pretty big for right off the rip as you're getting into it for a couple level one heroes. And obviously as he progresses, he'll end up trading them off if he ends up getting another hero, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I believe from experience playing Night Elf myself. I usually end up passing it off to another hero if I'm going Demon Hunter, and I'll get him like half and half pretty much would be defense and attack maybe four attack two defense to add add to his buffness you know what i mean just so he wouldn't he wouldn't come susceptible to falling to another hero or units three more agility and three more strength it than still him. happen but so we're happy to trade blows because you know I mean? we have slightly more armor 0 0.9 more armor there it should go. be about two and a half percent bonus effective health I'm just gonna burn, burn each other all the time. Burn each other. He has one more archer, but I think my bonus items make up for it. More 
turns out. TV. More valuable than an TV. extra archer. The circle and ring. It's not even gonna go for a TP. I would have went for the TP. <laughs> extra. <coughs> He has to go back to the moon wells. Moon wells yet. You want to make them as fast as possible to start regenerating at night. I don't want to go all the way home, but I can't fight him either. So I'm going to hide archers nearby to let him know I'm watching you. Uh, when I burn 50 mana, we both lose 50, but only the burned takes damage equal to the mana burn but reduced by a hero magic resistance so whoever does the burning instead of getting burned takes 37 damage i had no idea about that it's crazy and yeah and the caster does not oh i almost stole it Oh, he's gonna hit him with burn. I stole it. He already knows. I'll finish the camp. Finish the camp, get the gold, get the little bit of extra XP. So, he has a better item, and he killed an archer. Like, he found another item, which is higher level than ring. But lower level than circlet, which I bought. I spent money on circlet, and I lost an archer. Circlet is 185 or 187 gold or something, and an arch is 130, so I lost 300 plus gold. So I'm 300 gold behind. They both my Naga. But I have position on this Naga. So he's gonna have to TP. Oh, he TP out. War of attrition. The most logical step for him, in my opinion, would be to go for the shop now. You are building this Get your lord. Research finished. I will not be trifled with. And a shop. So I'm gonna scout it. And he is. Playing super aggressive. Demon Hunter playing super aggressive. I'm here just to be the heal. Point the way. Another lore. On your mark. My blade Huh. On your mark. I don't want either of us to creep this. And he keeps taking damage. He got th no, he got Demon. two lures and a shot going. Burn him. Nice. Oh, he popped the potion. He's about to burn him again. Burn, burn. Switched over, gave uh. Give Giving those the, items to her one. was actually He's a condition bears. to uh, survive. That was awesome. Gave her armor and health. Nice. And he also got the unit kill. That's the XP. It was a hot Passover. TV. Yo, that switch up was crazy. That's a bit greedy. Did not pay off. I he got one of the items. The brain. Also, he doesn't have his moon well set to where you could just run past them and heal, right? So I understand about creating new units, and as they drop, you don't want them getting all the extra moon well water.
for the health and uh, mana and stuff like that you want to be able to save it but if you already have it and it's like auto cast it's a lot easier because all you gotta do is run back and it'll automatically heal your hero first I'm pretty sure well depending on who gets there first right your heroes should be in front of the pack but it all depends on what's going on in the game Rain protection plus five which is nice to be honest but he got the watch reward oh shit I have three lores he does have three. no he buckled one of them was meant to be um, a shot shot I was I thought this was a shot I'm awake I'm awake it happens guess we have an ancient of lore to creep now I don't have enough lumber for master training that's because he buckled and built the extra board. I was waiting next to the Lord to buy a stop of preservation. So he misses out on the staff. It's not gonna happen. Eat a tree. Nice. Terrible item. Terrible item. <laughs> the sleeper has awakened. And he took that quick too. Hello. Has him with the ring of defense. Now there's up plus three to the attack. Nice. I'm surprised he hasn't made one a uh, second bear. So I feel like he's actually trying to creep as fast as possible to get some extra XP just so that he can get an extra level up. Because you have no idea. You don't know where he is. Yeah, exactly. You have no idea where he is and what he could be doing, right? Because he could be creeping during the creeps right now with his opponent and uh, getting a bunch of XP. His heroes could be exceeding the level that Grubby's heroes have at the moment. Grubby's sitting at a 3 2. But he has bears because he went into attack. He already has four. Right? Oh, he's up here creeping. Big one. He's in 2 3 as well. And he went dryads. He has a bear. He has two bears. No, no, he has three bears. My bad. Nice. They almost completely clobbered his hero. Got a bear down. Nice. And a creeps fighting at the same time. So Grubby's pretty much fighting on two fronts here. Got a creep going, attacking him, and then he's also attacking his opponent. But he's been able to get rid of all of his opponent's bears. Nice. I did not get the healing rune, but I believe I just got everything else. I believe Heal Naga. In a there you go. Oh, it wasn't a lot, though. I, I feel like that should have been upgraded. But he's the professional. <laughs> you always gotta think after something goes well or poorly, for that matter, is how could I lose? If it goes poorly, you could lose to anything, right? But it went well, and now you need to think, what would I lose to? And it's probably him having an expansion. Yeah. Because right away, as they were battling, it looked like Buddy was trying to go for an expansion just so that he'd be able to have more uh, more income, right? More resources so that he'd be able to big up his army a little bit better and a little bit quicker than Grubby. But they're like pretty much at par. Not anymore. Grubby just took out a good majority of, uh, of Buddy's army there. Taking a big creep. Using a lore. Lore is down. Poor Ancient of Lore. Nice. 
hell of valor. He's sitting at a plus five attack. And I think plus, plus three defense. Now there's uh, point on a point nine defense plus three attack. I'm awake. I'm awake. I still haven't seen what's uh, Demon Hunter's defense. Six point five. Crazy. I'm surprised he's not making more damage. 125 health. He's spreading out wisps everywhere. Yo, he's demon hunter. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see if I catch it. Doing upgrades. Okay, we got it. 29 to 51 damage, plus 21 to uh, to damage as well. And then 6 armor, plus 8 to armor as well. Damn, bro. Strength 30 plus 5, agility 27 plus 5. Look, plus 150 to health. He already got the trinket. Nice, man. But you gotta think what the opponent's up to right now. There he is. My blade can get this orange count. We just need to make sure we don't uh, die to a 60 or 70 pop attack. He has no upgrades. I am one. No more. upgrades. So we're ahead in upgrades, we're ahead in levels, we're ahead in items. XP. He could pretty much push now, it if he wanted to. If I'm playing it safe. I would go over 50 now. And in fact, I am gonna play it safe. 56 population. There's no point being greedy when you're ahead in every way. And you have equal bases and you know it. Flames, which is cool. Actually, it's hot. We can come back for gloves later if we lose something else. So, what I think is funny about what his opponent is doing, his opponent is going straight drain eyes as he sees that he has bears. Like, you can overwhelm bears with, uh, with drain eyes, but you have to have quite a bit of drain eyes on the way. I'm gonna bring up the rear with mass dryads. Dryads. I'm gonna kill his wisps with archers. I've seen where they are. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Ah, the great out. What is nature's call? Is there trouble? My blade thirsts. Where shall I strike? Our time is short. Nice. Was able to detonate, didn't give him any XP. He does have TP, so we'll just go for a Moonwell. If yeah, he has no go TP, we'll go for a tree. Affect his population. One Moonwell kill is enough to get ahead. Yeah, crazy. Two Moonwell kills is very good. He does now, two he TPs go in out. Higher population. Yeah, nice. And he loses some regen. So now. Our 70 or even 80 is going to be most 70. likely bigger than his. All he can do is get upgrades. I assume this archer killed the nearby 
Um, Wisp. Oh, by the way, cool thing I can do, right? Because he never noticed the... Oh, I never nice noticed the AP here. At the wisp. If I build an AP. That's funny. That's hilarious. Throwing down the huge protector in his stuff. face. As this fight's going on. So he doesn't. He either knows. Yeah, there you go. He had a bear come through and get rid of it. Red loses a bear. His demon hunter is surrounded. Staff teleportation. Yeah, Grubby hasn't even fallen any units. It's been keeping his units alive and well. It's crazy. Get the Druid of the Claw to start healing. I'm awake. I'm awake. At once. I don't want to walk through the shop because he can see me coming, but that's probably where he's going to walk because he has vision there, so he feels good. So I should just walk through vision. Huh. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Or is he? What is nature's call? What is nature's call? This is a pretty intense battle that he's had right here. Almost a mirror match. Met him back at the base. Stop him out. Nice. Going after units. Burn him. Burn him. Can't burn him yet. Pretty much got rid of his army. Yeah, there goes the triads. Stop teleport. There goes a bear. Nice. The bear is done. Good games, good games. Awesome plays. And Grubby's just going to muck his old days. He had zero zero upgrades, maybe one one zero. You know, I cannot really tell who's winning in these fights. When my bears are fighting his bears, I tend to focus on the negative. I see my bears dying, and I'm like, my bears, my wonderful <laughs> bears, they're all dropping. I'm like, oh, I need to rejuvenate them, they're dying. But what I'm not seeing is his bears dying. Yeah. Whereas like in an orc mirror, which is technically the same, grunt, grunt. I do see everything. I see everything. Here I'm like, I don't know who's winning. <laughs> Are there any strats where you build just ridiculous amounts of moon wells? I have done it, but they're like uh, fun strats. The human mind tends to focus on the negative. Mm. Yes. Yeah, the warden mass moon wells. The cost of one is like the cost of one bear or not. How can you not upgrade it? Oh, the cost of an, of one one upgrades is the cost of one bear. How? Why wouldn't you get it? Well, uh, upgrades don't give rejuve. Every bear ah. has its own mana pool, but attack and armor upgrades do not increase mana. The total amount of mana available for rejuve does not go up. So you can see how it makes sense. <laughs> wow, Confucius. <laughs> Smart guy, Confucius. Confucius says you only get two lives. Your second begins when you realize you only have one. <laughs> I've never heard that. I have heard of Confucius before. More than Pink Floyd. <laughs> heard of Confucius more than Pink Floyd. That's hilarious. But yeah, no, man. That was crazy. That was a dope match that he did. Essentially a mirror match in the way how he had the upper hand, which was crazy. How he scouted everything. He pretty much held that down. And I could see how he was getting confused because as I was looking at them as well, I didn't know if it was his bears 
or his opponent's bears until like last minute when it was dropping and then it's like oh not only that but you were able to look at the population uh that was going on in the match that he had overall but yeah no man that's going to do it for us for a react video i hope everybody enjoyed it if you did feel free leave a like subscribe all that other good stuff and yeah man see you next time peace